Yo, what's good everybody? Today, guys, somebody already beat Current Domination. I know, somebody must have just been grinding all night long. His name is Serta on the NBA 2K Reddit, and he actually was cool enough to share with everybody on the 2K Reddit what the rewards are gonna be. I know this is kind of an early upload, but I wanted to get this out there, like, ASAP. So basically, guys, the rewards honestly are not that great. One of the options is pretty freaking good, I'm not gonna lie, but it's Antonio McDice, Fat Lever, and freaking Ron Artest. And he actually posted a video of the Ron Artest stats and you guys can see the Ron Artest is actually super nice like he can actually shoot the ball he obviously has amazing defense you guys can see right here he comes with 17 gold badges like that's way more badges than any other player right now so if you guys do grind for this Ron Artest he's gonna be overpowered like compared to any other player in the game so looking at his shooting stats right here he has an 85 mid-range 88 three-pointers 79 ball control 98 lateral quickness man so like I said, dude, this Ron Artest, way better than any player in the game right now. And I actually saw something in the collection where we can kind of like predict what the next domination rewards are going to be. So what I figured out, guys, is the Fat Lever and the Antonio McDice are actually in this uh, game reward section right here. So we can pretty much figure out that the rest of the domination rewards, there's Ron Artest right there, are actually going to be in this collection somewhere. So the diamond cards for historic domination and all-time domination. Domination. I'm not even sure yet if you get a diamond for doing the historic domination. I'm hoping that you do. We'll probably be in this uh, section somewhere. And you can kind of eliminate some of the options in here. Like J.R. Smith, obviously, he's got a different card. Scottie Pippen. I doubt the Rockets version of Scottie Pippen will be a diamond. David Robinson Holy and Monty Ginobili shit. could possibly be a historic domination rewards. If David Robinson is an all-time domination reward, you guys can bet your ass I will be grinding domination all fucking night, bro. I need the biceps on my goddamn team. And then uh, Nate Thurman might be a reward as well. He also has some nice ass fucking biceps. So uh, yeah, shout out to Serta for beating Domination first. That dude obviously grinded the shit out of the freaking game, man. Like he went ham on Domination, dude. So if I had to take a guess, guys, what the other Domination rewards are going to be, I'm going to have to go with either Sean Kemp, Ginobili, David Robinson, Nate Thurman, Jerry Lucas could possibly be a Domination reward again. You never know. And then Joe Dumars, maybe. You never know. Some of these players, like they could get Diamond cards but uh even a west on like they never give popular cards for uh beating these dominations like <laughs> there's never a card that everyone's like holy shit we got like t-mac or something so i'm guessing it's one of those cards guys but uh yeah get to grinding on domination because you get a ron artest honestly i'm not too uh happy with the current domination rewards like fat lever and antonio mcdice come on dude the ron artest does look super nice though so i'm pretty sure everyone's gonna pick that artest fat lever might be a budget badass like he might be pretty fast which is kind of weird because his name's fat and he's fast get it <laughs> but yeah guys i'm for sure gonna get that ron artest i don't know that fat lever would have to be like really overpowered for me not to pick the ron artest but there you have it guys when people do beat the historic and the all-time team's domination i will let you guys know exactly like what happens and what the rewards are and everything but i just wanted to put a quick little video up all i have to say guys is i would not open a ton of packs right now i would save your bc for when a promo comes out or something because the best card that you can pull right now in terms of MT value kind of goes for like 10,000 MT, bro. It's really not worth it, man. Either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys are new for my team content all year long. And I'm out, guys. Peace.